with Roof. Hey guys, it's me Marcus aka The Mad Dog. Just a quick little one before this video begins. Now in case you were unaware, I did recently bring back Whale Watch. This was in the form of a live stream, it's just due to circumstances. I don't have as much free time to do Whale Watch in the way that it was previously, but still wanted to make sure that I could bring this video to you. However, I did say in that video that I was going to do an edited highlights of it and come back and make sure that I could trim everything out that didn't really need to be in there, because Whale Watch used to take about a week to edit before it ever got uploaded. And it was pretty much the same situation here. So admittedly, it might be a little bit choppy. It might seem like I can't even coherently say a sentence altogether. And some of it might not even make sense. There might even still be a little mistake or two in here. But I said that I'd do an edited highlights of it. And hopefully you will enjoy it. I think in future, I will just keep it to the live stream. And if you don't enjoy this, well, then I guess you can unsubscribe or something. I'm not really too sure. But here we go with the video. And I hope you enjoy. Woof woof! Hey guys, it's me Marcus, aka The Mad Dog. It's the beginning of the month. It's also the beginning of 2022. So that means only one thing. Yes, it is time for your first live installment of... Whale Watch. Whale Watch. This is a series that I used to do once a month where I take a look at some of the books that might be going out of print. Maybe some books that have already gone out of print and you've got a last minute chance to find them. Or maybe I could just find you a good deal along the way. It's been quite a while since I've done this, so admittedly, this one might be a little bit sketchy, but I am very excited to bring back Whale Watch. I know when I had to take a bit of a break last year, this was like the one thing that everybody was like, yeah, I know your eye's broken, but can you still do Whale Watch? Obviously, I always say this at the beginning of every Whale Watch. I, I don't try to cause any kind of fear of missing out. I just want to make sure that people aren't going to get scalped on books later on. Everything I say is speculation. I don't have any kind of insider knowledge. Really wish I did. That would be super helpful, but I don't. We're just going to look through some of the books that are popping up on my radar, and I think you should be aware of. In saying that, though, we cannot start an episode of Whale Watch without doing our East of West check. As you can see here, East of West Year 2, completely out of print. What's it going for at the minute? <laughs> In November, somebody was selling one used for $9.99, and I can imagine how beat up that spine must have been. So Year 1 is just completely unavailable. Let's have a look where else we might be able to find it. Obviously, this is a channel sponsor, Organic Prize Books. I've got the banner at the bottom. It's been a massive lifesaver having them support the channel whilst they've been taking this break. They're always just great for getting books in. JP's a great dude. It looks like it's sold out there as well, unfortunately. Unfortunately, Read Comics was the last place where I saw one available. Okay, so you can get volume one, 50 quid, which is better than the absolutely nothing that was available on Amazon for that one. So maybe pick that one up from there. Can you get year three? So I can't find year three, but that seems to be the last place that you can find year one. So I definitely recommend picking it up from there if it is that you did want it. I did a review and I wasn't too favorable of it, but I just gave it the benefit of the doubt that I think it's the type of book that just wasn't for me. So yeah, that's East of West. I do not think I can find it in many other places. Now the next book that I want to talk about is the Matrix Hardcover. Now this was the 20th anniversary edition, one that I really wanted. And as you can see already, not available. Yeah, again, immediately takes me to Power Rangers because honestly, you would not realize how much time that saves me over the years. Not available here at Forbidden Planet either. Don't think Amazon was even showing it. And it looks like a lot of people are disappointed as well. You can still pick up the Matrix 20th Anniversary Edition hardcover from the direct seller, Biblionaut.org. But I would definitely recommend picking it up from here. This disappeared immediately. Hopefully that's some good news for anybody that was looking for that book. Definitely recommend picking that up. The next one that we're going to talk about is one that I brought myself and I'm a little bit on the fence with. Whale Watch isn't always about this book's gone out of print. It's about me saying, I think this book might go out of print but it's middle west the complete tale now look at this it's already at full cover price despite the fact they only came out in july of last year so it's been pretty steadily at that price as well it's only recently jumped up actually it's only jumped up today so that's one that i do think should be on your radar yeah they've got it in stock at a cheaper price so if you're in the us definitely recommend picking it up from there if it is that you're looking for that book we've seen that it seems to be going a bit sketchy in a few places maybe have a look on some of those other websites and you might be able to find it at a better price depending on where you're from but i think that's one that it's going to go out of print and a lot of people will wish they brought it when they could have done this might be one of those like the complete phonogram i wanted to do a low check so if you remember low was a book that went stupidly out of print until okay of course it's going to show with protein bars low was a book by rick remender that again seems to have gone out of yep Okay, I don't seem to find these on organic price books either, but there was a temporary restock. Let's have a see if Cheap Comics has got this. Because I said I get the feeling that volume two's come out, they're not gonna bother really bringing it back out again and repeatedly bringing it out. If it is, 
it is kind of done and dusted. I think this is going to go the way of like Black Science and stuff like that. You can get Volume 2 from Forbidden Planet. They've got that in stock, but I'm not seeing Volume 1 here anywhere. You might still be able to find it from a second-hand seller because there was that reprint that came out. I think it was September and I spoke about the reprint and I said, if you want it, get this now because I don't think it's going to come back again. Volume 2's on, it's saying it's going to come back in stock on the 7th. Might be worth checking that out. Okay. Yeah, they are saying they're getting it back on the 7th. Sometimes though with Read Comics, as much as I like them, they are a family owned business. They sometimes don't get those dates right because obviously getting stuff sent internationally is difficult. I don't really understand the logistics of it. Like I just believe books magically appear in the UK. But I would definitely recommend if you can find this somewhere, pick it up. I might break my one rule and recommend buying this slightly over cover price if it means that you can get this book because this series is done now. There is not going to be a volume three. It's not going to be like Deadly Class and book three is going to come out and they're going to repeat book one and two. Next book is another Rick Remender book because he said that this was going to be one that was only going to get one printing. And I kind of believe him because it's a one and done book. It doesn't need a volume two. It's Death or Glory. Now you can still pick this up. There's still a few other places that are selling it. Let's see who we've got. We've got Super Book Deals. We've got Black World Book Depository. But you haven't got your books, etc. Although sometimes they're a bit of hit and miss with image books as well. You can still get this in stock at the minute though. And I do think that this is one of those books that's gonna disappear like or like every other Rick Remender book that's pretty much ever been printed. You can get it from organic price books. Don't know if I need to promote the code again. There's a banner at the bottom. But yeah, that is another one that I do think should be on your radar. I think give it four to six more months and you aren't gonna see this book anywhere. That just seems to always be the trajectory with these Rick Remender super prestige edition oversized hardcovers. Oh my god, the most beautiful book I have ever seen in my life. This is going on Whale Watch because of the fact that I do not think there's ever gonna be a second printing of this. It's the Scrooge McDuck beautiful edition. So yes, the price of this is steep, but this is the whammiest of whammy boys. But if you look here, it's not actually Amazon that's selling it directly. You can get it from Amazon US for £148, but it looks like Amazon hasn't really had this in themselves. This is Amazon UK. And for anybody who asks, this is a little Chrome extension that you use called Keeper, which shows you the prices. You can also track, you know, how often it goes cheap and you can also compare international prices. So, and they have got it for quite a decent price, 32% off. I know obviously there was an Amazon error at first, which is the only reason that I brought this. But now seeing this book, I would have brought this at that price. It is a phenomenal book. Yes, it is available at the moment. If you want it, even though it looks steep, I genuinely feel that this book is going to be a lot steeper in price. Might be six months from now that it goes completely out of print. But when it does, this is going to be a big, big seller. And with other, I think it's Fantagraphics that published this book, if I'm remembering correctly. Look at the Meta Barons Super Fancy Edition. Look at all of the Humanoid Super Fancy Editions. They've gone out of print and they are not cheap now. I would recommend picking this up if you did want it. Beautiful book. You won't regret it anyway. This was probably the purchase of 2021 for me. And I don't want any of you guys to miss out on it if it is that you did want it. Now, that price, like I said, now, another one that I want to tell you to not panic on is going to be the Spawn Compendium Volume 2. Now, this is a cautionary tale because of the fact that when the Spawn Compendium Volume 1 came out, it had a very similar story. Now, it only came out on the 14th of December. I've had people asking me about this book because of the fact that Organic Price Books is currently sold out. But yeah, when the Spawn Compendium Volume 1 came out, I remember places would talk about how many how many like copies of it they've got left and stuff like that. But the problem is, it was never a finite printing. Spawn Compendium Volume 1, you can still get nearly a year later. Now, Volume 2, it looked like everybody dried up straight away. But I get the feeling that this is going to come back as well. Why would you keep Volume 1 in print and not Volume 2? And it was a similar situation with the Invincible Compendium. So, I don't want you guys rushing and paying over cover price for it. This is a book that I think you can put on the back burner. Wait till a few more places get stock of it and you'll be able to get this this is a book that i haven't got but want and i'm not worried either and you know me i worry about everything yeah we've got one last book for the independent section so it's a utaki Jimbo beautiful edition again not the official title i don't know if amazon had its stocks under this but there are a few places in the uk that are still selling this you can mainly get it from amazon us these were pretty much the place that had yeah and they still have got this in stock i do not know if it's a permanent reprint i wouldn't sit around and wait on it because of the fact that it did
did just disappear. If you did want this, whilst you can still get it for undercover price, and whilst you can still just get this in general because it was very difficult to get your hands on, this is the type of boot that I think you should just pick up if it is that you can get it, if you have got the disposable income for this because what I will always preach is, as great as it is getting a book for undercover price, always make sure that you're financially responsible. Books come and go, but you want to make sure that you've got a roof over your head. You want to make sure that you can enjoy your life. And if you've already done that and still got a bit of extra money, this is one that I'd recommend not really sitting around on it. I think this is going to be one of those books that there was a massive initial buzz on. Then that dropped off a bit because everybody actually managed to get it. Like for a while, we did not think this book was actually coming out. It came out, everybody got it and we're like, cool. And I think we're now in that weird medium period where you can still get your hands on it, but people are probably going to slip and not pick this up and then one day it'll just be out of print what if this ends up being a situation where you can't get your hands on it again sure you might be able to order it now and you might be able to order it four months from now what if on that fifth month you can't and then all of a sudden this is going for 400 quid again because that was how much everybody was charging for it so we are moving into the dc books and what we're going to start with is our final order cutoff check which is now actually accurate because of the fact this isn't coming out like a year after i actually filmed it so organic price books again i'm not just what this final order cutoff check means is that if you get your books ordered before a certain date, then you're pretty much guaranteed to get one. Especially when it was 2020, there were so many situations where you could not get a book that you wanted. You don't get one to get caught out if there's books that you really, really want. Just having a look at some of the ones here, we're only really going to focus on the omnibuses. This is one that I need to pick up, the serial omnibus. I wish they would have followed through with that Rachel Rising reprint. It seems like they completely shorted the amount of books that they actually needed. So this is one that I think is going to be very sought after. Ven Omnibus by Kate and Stegg. For me, I've got the three hardcovers and I'm actually happy with that. So I'm just going to pick up King in Black. I think that will go out of print quite quickly. So we've also got a reprint of the Ultimates coming out in July this year. So don't let it be like a 19th chance to get that book in your late slip past you. Get that one whilst you can. A what if book that I am very excited for is when I did my like top 10 craziest what if stories. The majority of them came from this series. So this is the what if book that I'm going to pick up. A book that I'm very excited for. And the reason, the reason why I picked up X Factor Volume 1 the X Factor by Peter David Volume 2. I definitely recommend getting that one because I know that Volume 2s and subsequent volumes often have a lower print one than other ones. But the best stuff is in this book. So this is the one that you need. We've also got another beautiful Star Wars book coming out, Star Wars Legends The New Republic. We've also got the Heroes Reborn Omnibus. I know everybody slates that, but I'm gonna buy it. Speaking of which, the event that I read first when I was getting into comics, Avengers vs X-Men. Is it great? No, but it's so enjoyable, so I just recommend picking that one up. We've also got Extreme X-Men, which it seems like no one wants this book, but everyone's still buying it, because I think people secretly like this one. I remember reading a couple of trade paperbacks of this when I was really first getting into comics, because this was the stuff that I was reading at the time when I first started getting into comics. So for me, that is a book that I'm probably going to get to see if it's as bad as people say, because I remember it being quite good. But I was also about 12. So we've also got the Miles Morales reprints, which are pretty much the two books that have come out before. We've got a very whammy boy that I am looking forward to, Justice League New 52 Volume 2. That is a absolute must buy. We've also got Daredevil by Chip Zdarsky. We've got the 52 Omnibus, which yes, I need to pick up. 100 Bullets Volume 2. Doom Patrol by Rachel Pollock, which is just a complete blind buy for me, but I'm happy to go in with it. The Death and Return of Superman. Now, I said that I thought that this was going to get a reprint, and I'm really glad it did because it was going for ridiculous prices. Do not miss out on this book again. Similar with Gotham Central, make sure that you buy this one. We've also got The Question by Dennis O'Neill. I'd recommend getting that one as well. You've also got The Fantastic Four by John Byrne Volume 1. So there's a lot of great omnibuses coming out that you you should be pre-ordering because the best way to avoid something becoming a whale is to buy it before it becomes a whale pre-order it now the next couple of books that we're going to talk about from dc is going to be the legion five years omnibus now this is on my list because of the fact that this has been a weird one it's always been going in and out of print and at the minute for amazon currently unavailable you guys might remember that there is going to be a volume two it doesn't seem like Amazon wants to show it me. Volume two is supposed to be coming out in April of this year. Now, near enough with every other sequel volume of a DC title in Omnibus, you always end up getting the first one with a reprint. I would not stress with this one. I definitely recommend waiting around and getting it for a decent price instead of maybe buying a scalper price if it is. If Amazon's not even showing it, I would be quite worried at what people put it on on eBay. Purple Button of Doom, not a great sign. The next one that we are gonna talk about 
than Superman by Grant Morrison because again the stock levels of this have been going really weird. It's at full cover price over on Amazon but I believe that Speedy Hen had this in the other day. Oh that's the thing it says correct printing as well so you know that you're not going to have that issue with that page where they were missing some of the um, thought bubbles and stuff like that. Yeah so the Superman Omnibus I get the feeling that it's not on anyone's radar and that's normally a recipe for disaster. That's kind of what it was like with the Deathstroke New 52 Omnibus. Also the Gail Simone Wonder Woman Omnibus. Now another book that I've got some rationale behind. I don't think it's warning level just yet. Which is Superman by Peter J. Tomasi and Patrick Gleason Omnibus. They let the Batman Omnibus go out of print by these two. Whether you like this fact or not, Batman is vastly more popular than Superman. The Super Sons Omnibus also went out of print and I believe that the expanded edition did as well. I don't know. I think you've got a good couple more months with this. I think it will at least be in print for a year from when it was published so I can see it getting to me. I don't know. Maybe that logic doesn't make any sense for anybody else but if it is the case it's beautiful it's gorgeous especially if you're one of the few people now that does actually have the batman and robin by PTJ Tomasi on the bus. Another book that a lot of people thought would not go out of print, if I remember correctly. That was around for a few years, so maybe I'm completely off ball with this one. But if they'd let a Batman book go out of print, they'd let the same creative team have the Superman book go out of print. Another one that I'm going to talk about in a similar way to what I just did for the Legion on the bus, but it's Books of Magic. You have got a few places that are selling it in the UK. You've got Book Depository, but that volume two should be coming out shortly. Yeah. Oh, next week. Jesus. So I think there will be a restocking of this because DC want people to sort of buy all the omnibuses at once so they wouldn't release a volume two without a volume one being available because of the fact it doesn't really make sense especially for an obscure book why would you leave your volume two out there for a more obscure title i know this is very fan acclaimed for people who have read it but let's be honest it's not batman superman or even mainline sandman volume one is going to come back in print but then after that because i believe that that's that series done don't wait around on it. Another one. And I've actually got logic behind this one. Batman by Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale, the first book that I ever reviewed on this channel. Now, as you can see here, the main seller is not Amazon directly. They're selling it for a little bit more. But where are your speedy hens? your books etc even your blackwells and your wordaries yeah we've got book depository but that's about it now when it comes to these books they are seeming to reprint them in deluxe edition so you've got the so batman the long halloween deluxe edition it's not showing me the hardcover for some reason they are doing the catwoman when in rome is a deluxe edition they're doing honestly the dumbest title that i've ever heard in a book in a long time batman the long halloween the deluxe edition the sequel dark victory was that person paid by word they are bringing these out in a different format and this omnibus has been out for you know a good couple of years now it's coming on four years in september i get the feeling that now that they're doing those deluxe editions of the batman by jeff logan tim sale run it doesn't make sense to keep the omnibus and also the deluxe editions it makes more sense to reprint the absolute editions another one that i want to just get you aware of because maybe you've got one of these volumes and you're looking for a few of the others but these the batman by grant morrison now if you look at volume one three people are selling it main person on amazon isn't even amazon directly but yeah you might have had one or two of these volumes so i definitely recommend recommend picking those gaps in your collection if it was that you wanted you know complete that run oh another one that was out of print for a good long amount of time while we were waiting for more stock to come across but it looks again like it's running out of stock in a few places but you see infinite crisis reprint that we got now it's only two places that are selling it amazon's at full cover price but they have actually got it in stock yeah so you can still get it from there but i remember when this went out of print a lot of people were wanting this especially because people seem to prefer that cover more over in the uk it's not the cheapest price that you can find it well, it is at least available, especially for a book that's got such a high cover price. I just recommend picking it up if it is that you wanted it. That's one of those books that please have it on your radar. So yeah, Infinite Crisis is another one. It may sound contradictory to what I just said about Legion and other ones, but I think that now that the Green Arrow by Mike Grell omnibuses, despite their awful spine, now that both of these has been printed and it's not the most popular run, it might be for Green Arrow, but I mean just in general, especially for like, if you were just getting into omnibuses and everything, this wouldn't be one that you'd immediately pick up. I think that this might go out of print. I'd recommend getting both of these now that we know that DC isn't going to cancel that volume too. I would definitely recommend getting both of these volumes if it is that you wanted them because Next time this goes out of print, I don't think that it's going to come back just because of how obscure of a title it is. Yeah, so you can get it from Organic Price Books. The Green Lantern Omnibuses, I remember, I think it was back in last May, maybe. I was saying, I know I'm going to sound crazy, but I think the Green Lantern by Jeff Johns Omnibuses are going out of print. And now Luke, I think it was Volume 3 that people were struggling to get as well. Volume 2 is available in stock. There are a few places that are selling it. Got way to be book depository, but 
not as many places. Do not sleep on these because DC has reprinted these a couple of times already. The first one was printed in 2015, I believe. They've let other books of a similar caliber go out of print, and I don't want this to happen to this one. I don't think it'd be out of print forever. I alluded to this before. The Sandman Omnibuses. The book that people told me I was crazy for saying was gonna go out of print has gone out of print. Can still pick up volume one. That's not available either. There's so many other versions of this. Sandman, though, is a title that any respectable comic shop knows the power of so you might be able to find it hidden in a comic shop somewhere if you do best of luck to you another one but yeah the invisibles omnibus it's been in print since 2012 so it's schrodinger's omnibus every time i say that this is going to go out of print it comes back in print every time i don't mention this on whale watch it looks like it's going out of print so i cannot win until i say this book's name and then you'll figure out if it's going out of print or not but still if you want the all-in-one invisibles because it seems like the deluxe editions have been out of print for quite a while this is your warning to get it and i'd recommend doing so now the book that made it into the thumbnail will be swamp thing new 52 omnibus i've got a bad feeling about this one guys i picked this one up as soon as i could it's nearly been in print for a year now i think it has had the odd restock or two but look at this there's only three places that are selling it at the minute it's drying up okay restocking got to get me american date correct so that is the 8th of march okay maybe it is going to get that restock which is pretty much about a year after it originally came out we've seen dc cancel restocks and reprints before i'd just recommend getting it if it is that you can pre-order it from organic price books because they're getting it back in stock i'd recommend doing that another one that is no stranger to whale watch but it's the he-man omnibus because yet again this has gone to full cover price now i know they had that stealth restock at the same time as that netflix show that came out i would recommend getting this book whilst you still can it's not available over organic price books oh out of stock it's not even giving you the purple button of doom if it hasn't recommended it to me by now i don't think that the he-man omnibus is available from that either so i think this is drying up again if you can get this definitely recommend doing so some good news so there was a stealth restock of the wonder woman so you can get from books etc it's probably about 50% off there. I don't know, but I, I remember that being on quite a few whale watches and it was just out of stock a lot of the time. And I definitely recommend not sleeping on it because this is one of the best runs from the New 52. The last DC omnibus that we're going to look at. Like I said, I'm not doing as many books as I usually do. So I'm sorry if I'm skimping out on like your workstations and stuff like that. But the Authority omnibus, a very, very highly forgotten run that is really enjoyable. Now, it's a, a Amazon for full cover price. Oh, that's a decent price over here, organic price books. And it is in stock. Okay, it's saying that they're getting more in at the end of the month. It might be worth me checking back in and seeing if they do. The Authority is one of those runs that I wish everybody would at least try. It's going to be one of those that when it does go out of print, it might be something like Sleeper, which people will want it as soon as it goes out of print because this is a great series that I think a lot of people often forget about. I love this. I wish they'd do a volume two where they do the stuff that like, do you remember when the Wildstorm universe just had like a massive earthquake as an event and then just kept going? How can we do a Marvel start without our Chi check, which is the section of the show where we check on our boy Shang-Chi? I did it first time. Now, the Shang-Chi movies come out and I realised I was pronouncing his name wrong, speaking of me pronouncing stuff wrong. Apparently it's Shong. So let's have a see if we can find any of these. I believe there was like a weird restock of some of these. So on Read Comics, you can get Volume 2 and also Volume 3. Okay, so you can get Volume 2, Volume 3. I just saw Volume 1. I'll scroll back up and try and see Volume 4. Can't find Volume 4 for some reason over here on Amazon. Okay, yeah. So already going for overcover price. I know that Cheap Comics had this for quite a while. But apparently they were only doing one printing of these. And they were only allowed to do one printing of these okay so that's still just over cover price i could justify that if you needed this book you can get the d oh okay so for a book that seems out of print you can get it for undercover price over here on cheap comics we've been talking for months i think it's been well over a year now that i've been talking about the shang chi book it's nice to know that that wasn't in vain because it looks like these are disappearing also because it has been a couple of months i'm gonna do our conan check okay so you can get Volume 6 on pre-order of Savage Sword. The Cooper Seek volume still available. You can get Volume 5 of Savage Sword. Original Marvel Years Volume 4. You can get Volume 6. That's the most recent one, I believe. There's some pre-orders. I can't wait to get that King Conan book. Okay, Volume 2 is now at full cover price. This is saying temporarily out of stock for the Original Marvel Years Volume 3. Okay, no one's really selling it new over here for volume two volume one i believe that got a temporary restock seems like that's disappeared again savage sword volume three now looks like it's disappearing a little bit oh books etc is going so ignore me, ignore me on that one i was wrong they've got pre-orders available for volume six you can get volume five savage sword okay so the conan books 
Some of them are creeping out of stock. I definitely recommend jumping on them. Okay, it's this one that I can't find on Amazon. If you, as you can see here, it's already going for over cover price. This is the one that I'm talking about. I do think this is going out of print. I'll see if I can find this anywhere else. It's available for back order over here on Organic Price Books. Okay, can't even find it over here on Forbidden Planet. So that is one that I definitely recommend picking up. One that I'm going to tell you to not worry about is the Aliens Omnibus because I've seen over here in the UK it does look as if in a few places this wasn't available right here. So it came out in last June, saying temporarily out of stock. Hold out over here on Organic Price Books. Out of stock over here on Read Comics, but for me. But at the same time, I don't think it's worth really worrying about. I think because of the amount of these volumes are coming out, there are going to be reprints of this. Now, another one that I think you might be able to find in a few places, but the bigger places seem to be drying up and it's the Spider-Gwen Omnibus. Now, hear me out. Omnibuses, when it is that the bigger places like your Amazon, your books, etc., your Weirdery and your Speedy Hen don't have any more stock of a book. They are normally the indicators that you should be picking them up because of the fact that they will sell out first because of the more popular websites. And then your more localized specialist comic shops, they then dry off. The Spider Gwen Omnibus is one that I think will be going the same way. Now, if you ask me, I definitely get the DM variant. Okay, so you can get both covers here over on organic price books and i definitely recommend doing that maybe this is me being a bit preemptive with saying that i think this is going out of print it didn't seem to have the buzz when it was coming out and this okay you can get it from read comics as well maybe i messed up on this one okay so it's not available on forbidden planet but you can still get it in a few other places they did not finish this run in oversized hardcover and it was one of those that you know it was a bit like oh great you're doing that and an omnibus like i'll pick it up but for me i get the feeling that this is going to be one of those that disappears again so i'd recommend picking it up if you can especially if you're in America gate from organic price books you can see the discount code in the bottom below and as well he told me this the other day he's started to do statues which I just think is incredible if it is that you wanted this I get the feeling that it's not really going to be high in demand for a reprint so I'd recommend picking it up whilst you can I get the feeling that this might disappear as well not just yet but I do get the feeling it will. Spider-Man by Roger Stern. I touched on this in the last Whale Watch. Yeah, so again, look, it, there's only two places that are selling it. Amazon doesn't even have it in stock. January 11th. Okay, so there are more additions of this coming in. Even the DM variant. Looks like more stock of that's coming across. I'm not sure if it will come across here, though. I don't know if this is a wide restock or maybe just something through Diamond directly. Next one. One that I think might catch a few of you by surprise. And you might be able to find it in a few comic shops and comic websites. But it's the Death of Captain America. Now, this reprint, I know was very well sought after. So as you can see here on the two places of selling it, Amazon has got it in stock. Came back in print in August, so it's had its chance to get across here. Oh yeah, spoilers for the title of this book, by the way. You can get the DM variants and also the standard cover. And I think it's probably just like your big retailers that aren't keeping stock of this. I do also think that this might disappear as well because it's a sequel volume. Don't sleep around on this. Uh, don't sleep around on anybody, actually. Now, will there be another stock of it? I'm not really too sure, so I'd recommend keeping an eye on that one. Absolute Carnage is my next one. I know that they've said a few times that there's going to be restocks of this, but as you can see here, it's not available on Amazon. The only person that's selling it is selling it for 90 quid and that's a place in space. Sold out at Organic Price Books. Yeah, they're saying it's out of print, going for 125 euros. Now, I know that the main part of this series is going to be covered in the Venn Omnibus by Donny Cates. I'm an event completionist, so I love picking up these books and getting all the tie-ins. And if you're similar to me like that, you might be able to find it in a comic shop because of the fact that it's quite thin. Yeah, so Absolute Carnage is one. Some of these books, the reason why they're sold out is because when I was going to do October Whale Watch, they were on the list for then. So I still want you to be aware of books that would have made it a few months ago in case it is that you know somewhere that might have it. The Old Republic omnibus the price of this is shot up immediately there's only one place that's selling it and that's amazon directly and they are selling it on behalf of amazon us beautiful dm variant sold out and also the standard edition cover unfortunately if we're putting a doom over there now admittedly i do not think that this is going to be out of print forever it's star wars you know they have been reprinting star wars by jason aaron star wars by keenan gillen um, well, Darth Vader, you get what I mean. And I think this probably will get a reprint at some point, especially with the fact that it says Volume 1. But with it being Star Wars, comic shops might have ordered this, and I would just recommend picking it up if you can. The Wolverine Omnibus Volume 1. I know that Volume 2 has now been released, and we've also got a solicit for Volume 3. Again, look, it's showing us out of stock. Please do not pay 300 quid. I get the feeling it might have another stocking. Oh, and you can also get both covers from Organic Price Books. But when that Volume 3 does come out, they might do another stocking of it, because it just kind of makes sense yeah i would recommend getting it from organic price books you don't want to miss out if it is that i'm completely wrong and they don't do a restocking but i do think that volume one will 
come back in by the time that volume 3 comes out. So, Punisher Mike Thunderbolt Volume 2. Now, I know Volume 1 just went ridiculously out of print quickly. There are two left in stock over here at Amazon. You might stumble on a Punisher Mike Volume 1 somewhere, in which case you'd hate to not pick up Volume 2. So, that's why that's on the list. And I would just recommend picking it up if you needed this one or you wanted this one because I can't see it lasting much longer. Last book for this installment of Whale Watch is the What If Volume 1. Now, What If, they're bringing out a lot of these volumes quickly, but as you can see, here it came out in August similar time to when the death of Captain America did and there's only one place that's selling it and it is Amazon directly so it does look like this one's disappearing because of the amount of what if volumes are coming out I would oh that's cool for the last book I'll finally go on in stock trades Jesus Christ okay so if you're in America please get that I wish I could go for that price but that is the last book for this installment of whale watch I did it I finally broke my slump with whale watch I feel good I feel really good about that even though I feel like I am dying yeah I mentioned the paper girls deluxes in an earlier whale watch like we're talking months ago so I'll go back to these it's volume three about 30 percent off volume two you can get volume one that's difficult though. okay so I can't find volume one come back order it over at organic price books oh so volume three is out of stock volume two is out of stock volume one's out of stock yeah you're right on that one i remember saying a good couple of months ago paper girls looked like it was disappearing but then they released that compendium and i think it like solidified the fact that you know that is something that should be on the warning level the absolutes of sandman volume two only about 20 percent off and amazon's the only place that's selling it volume three not too many places volume five only three places that are selling that oh volume one and volume four have disappeared who'd have thought we'd ever see the day when Absolute Sandman would look like it was going out of print. That's kind of mad. Walking Dead hardcovers. You never know with the show disappearing, but Walking Dead will always be available in some format. Okay, it's volume 14. That's a good price for book 16, though. 45% off, but only three places that are selling it. Oh, volume 7's not showing off. Book 11, book 15, it's got only a few people. Book 12. That's the problem with The Walking Dead. There's so many volumes of it. I'd recommend doing what I did and just blasting this out buying as many as you can road to no man's land is coming back end of the month based on amazon book depository dates if anyone missed my early message road to no man's land this was one that disappeared and i remember saying it looks like it is in stock but not at a great price over at amazon at the minute ah dispatch for them one to three weeks from book depository so you might have been you're probably right on that one. I said if No Man's Land gets an omnibus, which was one of my most anticipated, then I reckon that it'll come back in print. I said that this first one would be the worst. We are going to improve on this. I won't make it as much of a surprise as I did this time. Yeah, I'll do an OnlyFans. Fuck it. Give me 10 quid and you can look at whatever you want on me. I, I'm at that stage now. That's how desperate I am for money. But yeah, there is a coffee jar. You can find the link through my for the page please check out some of the previous videos it does help keep the channel going because there is less videos coming out so it does sort of affect it but at the same time i'd rather bring i'd rather bring out no video than a bad video and that's going to be my um kind of mindset moving forward and hopefully every time you see i've uploaded something you can go i know he's he's thought about that one and he's brought it out because he wants to but that is the first episode of whale watch in the bag for this year i'm gonna wrap this one up here uh, check out organic price books check out my coffee check out my instagram keep going be a mad dog don't give a shit if no mad dog gives a shit if the dog's bigger than them they're still gonna go for it big love to everybody thank you for tuning in stay safe everybody i'll see you all in the next stream and until next time stay mad all you dogs woof woof see you at the next video